Individuals with psoriasis may experience some severe physical discomfort and disability. Itching and pain can interfere with basic functions, such as self-care, walking, and sleep. Plagues on hands and feet prevent individuals from working at certain occupations, playing some sports, and caring for family members. The frequency of medical care is costly and can interfere with an employment or school schedule. People with moderate to severe psoriasis may feel self-conscious about their appearance and have a poor self-image that stems from the fear of public rejection and psychosexual concerns. Psychological distress can lead to significant depression and social isolation. In the past, physicians would classify psoriasis by a body surface area, the amount of a person's skin that the disease covered. Less than 3% affected was termed a mild case, 3 to 10% was a moderate case, and more than 10% was considered a severe case. Instead of identifying the severity of psoriasis solely by its extent, doctors are now urged to consider other factors such as its location and a specific type of psoriasis, the level of treatment required, and the impact of the disease on a patient's quality of life. Getting rid of psoriasis involves much more than just applying some lotion or taking a pill. That's why doctors say there's no cure, meaning that they're unable to recommend a cream or a pill to cure the problem. But that doesn't mean there isn't a cure. Countless people have gotten rid of their psoriasis over the years by following the three proven steps required to address any psoriasis problem. Are you taking the required steps? Visit the 3 stepcurecom and follow the proven steps of others who have successfully dealt with their psoriasis.